Libra, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading for November 15th through the 21st of 2019, the last full week ahead in Scorpio season. So we're slowly inching towards Sagittarius season. Libra, this is for sun, moon, and rising, or wherever Libra affects your natal chart. You can take these energies and you can apply it to that section of your natal chart for this week. All right, guys, let's get right into it. Yes, this is always a two-part reading, so the extended link is down below. You can click on it and head on over anytime you want. Let's get into the energies, Libra. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. For those of you just finding me, my name is Michelle. This is my channel. Please do click subscribe. Help the channel grow and ring that bell so you know when I go live. All right, Libra. All right, Libra. Wow, there's a lot you have to say. I think well, there's a little too much. <laughs> Let's do that again. General energy, sun, moon, rising, or any sign uh, any, 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 any position for Libra, Libra energies, Libra energies from November 15th through the 21st of 2019, November 15th through the 21st of 2019. Oh, sometimes the cards are acrobatic. Hold on. This is your, okay. And you swear to God, Libra. <laughs> This is your energy. Be playful. This is you skipping along, hopping, jumping, jumping. Oh my gosh. Somebody is chasing you, but not in a bad way. Not in a, I'm hungry and probably going to make you dinner away. Mm -mm. I think that you are very much aware that somebody is, has their eye on you, is interested in you. And you, you really, honestly, it's, I don't, I don't want to say you don't care. Mm -hmm. Let me go back. It's not that you don't care. It's that you don't care. It's, you know, it's, it's not. You are feeling very, very good about yourself this week, Libra. And whatever other people feel about you or think about you isn't going to affect that good feeling of how much you're loving yourself this week. So let's all take a step back and learn from Libra this week because that's the kind of that's the kind of self-love that we all have to have. Libra, you are in a very good mood this week. There's an energy of lightness, happiness, fun, playfulness. Not even necessarily opportunities, Libra, but just living in the moment and loving what you have and loving who you are. It's not something that, this isn't something that you have to focus on. It's, it's something that you've already earned. It's a little bit of a freedom. I think we did have a couple of weeks where you, it was heavier for you. It was heavier than usual because you had decided to stick up for yourself. And let me say this, this newfound confidence in, or this newfound value in who you are and standing by yourself is actually lightening up the tides of your life and making it a lot easier to exist and be you. This is you being the best of you. Playful, airy energy, youthful, happy. Maybe you even feel like a kid again. Let's look at the number. 51 adds up to six. That's a lover's number. Now, in other words, listen, bottom, bottom line, it could be you are in love with you. You found a way to not need somebody else to be in love. The in love is a state of mind and a state of your heart and soul. And this week you found it, whether you're with somebody or whether you're not, you're playing and you're skipping. You're tiptoeing through them tulips. You are happy, happy, happy this week. Now, I also have this feeling like you know that somebody has got their eye on you. And you're playing a little bit of the coquette. Coquette and a little bit of the tease. And that's good for you. It's a happy energy. Now, this may not be romance. It could just be, and this is what I meant to say, Follow this metaphor. This is what I meant to say when I was describing about you not caring. It's not about not caring. It's like you, you're not caring about what somebody else thinks about you. So you're not sitting around worried about, are they going to make me the job offer? Or are they going to approach me? I know they have their eye on me, but where are they? You're not, you're not 
You're not worried about the other end of your uh, the other end of any transaction this week. You're really just having a good time. This could mean that you've taken a break off work, taking a few days off. Maybe you're taking the whole week off. This has a vacation vibe to it, a feeling of lightness, airiness, playfulness, but also wisdom because it's a sense of self that has been lightened by the wisdom that you don't need other people around you and their approval. You have definitely dumped a load. This week, Libra, you're getting rid of all that heavy. You've gotten rid of all that heavy and it's almost like you're learning how to dance again. There's a synchronicity to this card that tells me that you're right in time and right on in place and right in tune in all the harmonies that you need to be in this week. So it's almost like you'll find that without even thinking about it, you will be in the right place at the right time this week because you're in sync. You're in, you're in sync. Ba ba ba. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But you're in sync with the universe. This is universal synchronicities will be happening all around you. So if you see a lot of signs, if you see a lot of angel numbers, if you turn on the radio and hear the song that you had been thinking about before you turn the radio on, these are all signs this week that are going to clue you into the fact that yes, things are not only, things are working in your favor, but you're working in your favor. It's, it's that you're in perfect alignment with where you need to be right now. And because you're happy. Hmm. Okay. Let me pull more cards because all that was just from one card <laughs> and you have a whole reading ahead of you. <laughs> all right. General energies for Libra having fun and playing, 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 just loving life this week, November 15th through the 21st of 2019. These energies, these Libra energies, these Libra energies, Libra energies for November 15th, the 21st, 2019. Uh, Libra energies, November 15th to the 21st of 2019. Um, Libra energies. Okay. Got some more for you. Here we go. There is always enough. You were just swimming. You were very comfortable with your emotions. You could be dealing with a Piscean, Libra and Pisces. I just did a personal reading. This is synchronicities. This is synchronicities. I just did a personal reading and um, these were their moon signs. One was a Libra moon, the other was a Pisces moon. Here you have your Libra energy skipping above, happily, merrily skipping above, skipping above the surface. And then you have your Piscean energy swirling and swimming blissful and loving how the water feels around it the emotions right beneath the surface it's almost like this guy was looking for something this playfulness maybe this is who he's playing with the fish below remember that line from ever after libra um when danielle was was locked up and she was finally freed by leonardo, leonardo da vinci i almost said dicaprio but i didn't and she said, a bird may love a fish, but where will they live? And he said, well, then I shall have to make you wings. Oh, I just got a chill. You know, this could be the star-crossed lover. Because this sandpiper would not try to eat this koi fish. It would be too big. Koi, fi koi fish would probably outweigh the sandpiper. It's almost like you have found, Libra, this lovely balance between your thoughts and your emotions this week. And it equals each other. They equal, they equal the happiness and the playfulness is almost, uh, is almost rooted in this connection, this deep connection with this beautiful emotional state that you're in this week. There also is a very Piscean sense of dreaminess. Dreaminess and being lost in your dreams. You see the lotus flower? Well, that's a little, it looks, it reminds me of a lotus flower. It's actually um, a lily, lily pad. But it's this sense of 
feeling like you're living in a dream this week because you are dancing to music that's only in your head. You're singing songs that you don't know where they came from. Maybe you're hearing music all to yourself and you find yourself skipping instead of walking. It's that kind of week where you may be bliss. Like, remember what I said, you might be on vacation? Wherever you go might be a vacation this week. It will feel almost like you are lost in a dream. Some dream from some far off time that maybe you even remember from a childhood or you haven't felt this way since you were a kid. It's the result of Libra, your intellect and your emotions being in perfect sync. Whoa, tend to the small things. Now, <laughs> this might mean that the details might go a little bit left astray. <laughs> like you might not be focused on the details this week, Libra. So uh, some might come up a week later. I don't think that the, the small things are going to be what gets your attention this week, except that it's just going to make you happy. In other words, it's not going to take a lot to make you happy this week. If you are looking at those things, those, those commonplace things that you may already have in your life, if you focus on them this week, there will be a beautiful elation. You will find this balance. I think that this is the overall, the message from spirit is focus on those small things, focus on the little things, fo like focus on those things that you already have in your life. And that focus will lead to this beautiful sense of elation. Dream the world into being. Oh boy. So, you know, this card is a mystery, mystery to me because if you look very, very closely, you can see the skull. I, I can't not see it, but you can see the skull. So it's almost like this resurrective card. Dream the world into being. From something that was dead or from a feeling of death or from a feeling of darkness comes this new sense of light and it reiterates the thought in my head of the dream world the world of dreams the world of illusions the world of i don't want to say deception but the world of the dark coming in and lizard spirit and lizard energy is also very playful energy so you're coming out of this period it's almost like you just got out of the fire and you're all good and it's knowing it's knowing and remembering not dwelling on not thinking of it but remembering where you came from maybe where you were a year ago or even just a week ago now you can finally be okay with listen i know my direction is forward i know the way that i'm going feeling confident and feeling happy that the past is behind you oh stop I will actually have to show you the cards to show you what I just saw, but it's like the skull is looking at the mouse. So you could be distracted this week from something that could still be there to irritate you or do you harm. That's a little bit of a warning, Libra. It doesn't mean that this week isn't going to be good for you. It's going to feel real good, but you may be feeling so good. You don't tend to something that might grow into a larger problem. Cause remember, mice wherever you see one there's a hundred in the walls so there's a there's a there's a feeling a very real um possibility libra that something this week you will feel be, you'll be feeling so good this week that you'll miss something that's very important that could lead to some sort of distress or something from the past that hasn't completely totally cleared up and honestly, I'm getting this feeling, this sense, you don't care. Like, let it be, let it worry about itself. But this is the kind of thing where if you don't scratch it out, and this is the healing card, why did this card show up? Because this baby eats mice. Okay, this is heal. Heal those t that tiny infestation that could grow out of control. And I know that you don't want to look at it this week because it's such a happy week. But think about it this way, Libra. It's about you adding to your happiness and ensuring that this happiness goes beyond this week. Because if you are willing to 
call in snake spirit and say, please heal me, please help me, you won't have a mouse problem anymore. You won't have a detail problem anymore. I'm not saying, no, not snake as in deceptive. Snake as in, it, snake is a totem of healing. There's a healing that needs to happen this week regarding these indescript tiny things that could add up again. So in order to continue this beautiful sense of the two of you swimming in sync, please, please, please don't ignore those details that could creep up on you. Nothing is wasted. Not your time, not your effort, not your energy. This is a wonderful card of basically reminding you exactly what Snake just reminded you. Clean up the past. Clean up the dead. Oh my God. I love these cards. So Vulture, what does Vulture do? Vulture is a wonderful animal totem because what it reminds us is nature has got everything covered. Even those things that, that somehow disgust most of us, somebody will eat it. They are nature's recycler. So there's no waste when it comes to our earth and our planet. That is natural balance, right? That vulture comes in and says, hey, I'll pick up the mess because we can make use out of it. It's a wonderful way that our, our world stays in balance. So it's reminding you of balance and harmony by reminding you of what needs to be cleaned up. You won't be wasting your time is what I'm is 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 the message that I'm um is the message that I'm sort of divining from this circumstance. You will not be wasting your time to take your time to make sure that you hire or enlist the help of this healing energy to get rid of the vermin that are just beneath the surface. You won't be wasting your time. There will be a stress, there will be a strain because you're so happy at the beginning of this week that you don't want to be distracted by any of the bog down. So you're like, come on, I, no, you're not doing this to me again. You're not distracting this to me again. It is, it is, it is. Once again, you could be dealing with Virgo energy. This is earth energy, detailed energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This is once again, yes, that energy. And no, it's not done yet but you're in such a better place now that I think you'll be able to take those stands a lot easier, quicker, and without as much guilt. You can see clearly now, and how ironic is this, these guys eat mice too. <laughs> like this whole reading is like, spirit has got your back, Libra. You will have, in other words, all the tools that you need to take care of these details so you can get back to feeling good. And this is also foresight. In other words, it's cleaning up your future too. It's ensuring that those little things that are hidden behind the walls, this guy can see them. It could actually also be advice that you're receiving. I don't know if you have an Aquarius in your life, but this is the Aquarian energy coming through. So it could very well be you receiving very good advice, very good guidance on how to heal, how to enlist all the right people. I'm hearing this as well. If you're going through a divorce this week, if you're going through a divorce in general, it could very well be you coming to, like you taking, you taking good advice and them advising you on how to ensure that you don't get hooked or trapped by what the other side is doing. There, it's that kind of advice. Not even, you don't, you don't necessarily have to be, a, um, this is like, you don't have to be getting a divorce. This is, um, what I'm saying is it's almost like an insider tip like an insider an insider tip that's what it is somebody like Shh, listen this is what you have to do this is what's really this is what's up and it will make things what i say this is all about being in sync right so you can say bye 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 being in sync so you can say bye 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 to the past the universe is not going to let you take a vacation really, it's gonna take let you take a vacation from those heavier feelings or those feelings of guilt about basically being more aggressive and standing up for yourself, but you've enlisted a whole line, just a, a troop of people that is here to eat up any vermin that might try to get at you this week. Mm. I'm gonna flip the camera around so you guys can see what I'm seeing, hold on. So do you see what I'm seeing? Like all of these animals, look at them. 
these two especially, do you see what I'm seeing about this, the skull looking directly at this mouse? It's almost like hypnotic. It's like they're, they're looking at each other, talking to each other. I don't know if they're plotting, but it's like they're on the same level. They're on the same plane. And here's this whole troop just waiting to come and gobble them up. It could very well be this energy of you maybe feel a little bit this week that somebody's trying to gobble up. No. I was going to say somebody's trying to gobble up your future. But they're not. I think that this is, this is cleansing energy. This is energy trying to help you. It's almost like you, you don't want to see how big this problem could get. But like I said, with the vermin, if you see one mouse, there's about a hundred behind the wall. So it's almost like you kind of know that it's happening, but you'd rather it stay hidden. You'd rather keep denying it because you want to stay in this beautiful synchronicity, synchronicity this, this beautiful dance that you found yourself in this week. But that's not, honestly, you can't. It's uh, as much as I wanted that for you at the beginning of the reading. You have to stay focused on working through the rest of these issues because they're presenting themselves as, oh, nothing. It's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. Because all this energy is seeing is death, destruction, negativity, all those, all those, it's almost like they, it's looking right at this energy of all the skeletons in the closet. They're going to throw out, throw out, throw out at you. But this is the tools that you have now, a sort of balanced sense of self to come on in and clear it all out. So you can look to the future and without fear, with a sense of <sighs> foresight foresight so that you never get into this situation again I think that you have learned a lesson that has changed you in some way it's changed you from somebody who is airy and playful and light and wistful to somebody who is wise and and gorgeous and all-knowing it's definitely changed a part of your soul and in some strange twist of fate it's also made you happier, made you lighter, and brought you back to a more useful existence. Why? Because now you're closer to your authentic self. With this wisdom that you've earned, you're, you're closer to your authentic self. So it's, it's with this newfound wisdom that you're going to finally turn around this week and be like, I'm addressing this and I'm not backing down. You know, it's not as little as it seems and we're going to get after it right away. That's the energy. That's the energy. There is another interpretation of this reading and it could be that too many people are trying to put pressure on you to be serious this week and you don't want to. Whether that be a spouse or a boss, whatever these authorities are, it, there is a, a sense of adulthood versus childhood. This may be somebody accusing you of being too childlike or somebody expecting you to grow up quote unquote, when all you want to do is be playful. But I have to say, there is a connection here. There is a, there is a united air energy front here that says we can be playful and have fun and be wise at the same time. Don't underestimate us. So whatever this energy is, I want to suss out over a tarot, we're going to do a full tarot spread and your romance reading. The link is below, guys. Hopefully, I'll see you over there.